All right, let's talk about the forecast. We enjoyed a very cold Christmas and had a little bit of snow on the ground with yeah. I personally enjoyed Kelly, but I will say it was nice to see the sunshine and feel yes. a little warmer out there today. Yeah, it definitely made a difference. And now we've had the wind shifting out of the south, so we are in into a warming trend for the next several days. That's good because, you know, this is the time of year when a lot of kids got the bike for Christmas. Mm -hmm. They want to get outside and test it out. Yes. And we could do it maybe this week. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be well above average actually for okay. a few days this next coming week. And as we uh, finish off the last Saturday night of 2020, it's really pretty on average for this time of year, 32 degrees. The clouds are starting to increase. We do have a wind chill of 27 and those winds are now out of the southwest at five miles per hour. They're going to continue to turn out of the south as we go through the overnight. Current temperature right now in Muncie's 34. It's 28 in Richmond, 35 in Lafayette, 33 degrees in Greencastle. Check out this 24 hour temperature change. It's pretty drastic in comparison with 24 hours ago. We are running anywhere from 15 to 20 degrees warmer right now than yesterday at this time. Now temperatures are going to drop, but not significant. This morning we started off at 14, but we'll only drop into the mid 20s during the overnight because the winds will be out of the south and we'll also see the clouds increasing ahead of this next system. So temperatures only drop to 24 in Indy, down to 22 in Kokomo. The low will be 27 in Bedford and in Bloomington. Now tomorrow we'll see temperatures climbing into the upper 40s tomorrow afternoon. Now it will be windy and it will also be cloudier, so not as much sunshine. So definitely some give and take. Of course, the Colts are in Pittsburgh against the Steelers tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures will be around 42 degrees for that afternoon high. One o'clock kickoff for that. Go Colts for here at home. We are going to see the showers start to push in later tomorrow evening. This is a front notice. This is not a lot of heavy rain. It's going to be pretty light just to trace them out to maybe a tenth of an inch of rain. This will move in later tomorrow night into early Monday morning. Then temperatures on Monday will be colder behind that cold front, only climbing into the low to mid 30s on Monday afternoon. It'll be cloudy and windy on Monday. Tuesday, we're going to see a lot of sunshine. Temperatures climb to 35 degrees. Now, as we get into the middle of the week, that's where we have some pretty big changes going on. I'll step out so you can see this full screen here. Midweek changes, we're going to have a windy Wednesday. Rain will start to push in during the afternoon. Heavy rain will be possible, and then the rain could change over to a little bit of a mixture of rain and snow early Thursday morning. Then we'll have several dry hours before possibly a round of snow moves in late day New Year's Eve into New Year's Day. So a lot going on here and honestly we need you to keep checking back for the latest. This is going to change, but this is a look at Wednesday at 4 p.m. We will see widespread rain pushing in. Could see some pockets of heavier rain, maybe even around one inch of rain. Late Wednesday night, it'll start to shift over to a little bit of snow. We could see some light accumulation. I think the air temperature will be just warm enough that it'll be mainly a mixture and then we could see this creeping back up again late Thursday night into Friday morning ringing in the new year with possibly some snow as we get into Sunday afternoon. Rain will be light, high of 48. We're mainly dry Monday and Tuesday, but Wednesday we bring in the rain, highs in the low 50s, much colder on Thursday. We can see a wintry mix in the morning. Could see some accumulating snow as we ring in the new year, Jenny, Thursday night into Friday.